up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I am here at the LA Auto Show. Of course, we had to stop at the Lexus booth because guess what? We already brought you the GX550 Overtrail. Now we have this vehicle right here. What is it? This is your standard GX550 from Lexus, all new. But before we get into this all-wheel drive, boxy-shaped crossover SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. Lexus, they're really going through their lineup and making some crazy changes. I think everybody, including this guy right here, was impressed and shocked with what they're bringing to the GX. Now, what's fascinating is, is that with this boxier shape, they're moving away from that long-standing, naturally aspirated setup to something a little bit more modern with twin turbocharged power. But what I want to find out is, if you're looking for a mid-size luxury SUV, do you go GX 550 over the competition? Let's go ahead, let's dive in and find out. Right off the bat, I'm loving this pearlescent white. Really fits it to a T. You can see our signature triple LED beam headlights, our LED daytime running lamp. And what's fascinating is that they did a little bit of a kind of interesting thing with the style. They actually have these vents here, which are not fake, so I am going to zonk that. But what I do like is the hard edge that goes around the outside. You have that flared fender, and then down below, you are going to get LED fog lamps. Now, as we come across that new grille on the GX550, you can see the flat black area, fully functional, forward-facing camera right underneath the Lexus badge. And you'll also see that you do have functionality on both sides of the lower portion of the grill. But I think really one of the things that really kind of touches on the special style is how they didn't bring the, the flat black all the way down. They kept this lower portion body color match, but it still has that overall trapezoid design. On the bottom, you have this metallic gray finish and functionality on that lower lip there, which looks good as well. Now, as we rise up, I love the bold style to the hood. You have a nice indentation, two peaks underneath the hood. Like I said, we have twin turbo V6 power with a 10 speed automatic transmission. Now, as we come around the bend, what are we working with wheel and tire setup? So on this particular GX, you can see, see our more roadworthy wheel and tire setup compared to the Overtrail machine aluminum. What's great is that this is a massive 22 inch wheel, so it really fills in that fender gap very nicely with the gunmetal metallic gray, multi-spoke design all the way around. You can see our bright silver, solid four piston calipers. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of the tires? 265 on the width, and you have a 50 series sidewall all the way around. I think one of the things I love the most, color matched. So unlike the Overtrail, you have fully color matched fender flares, and this pearlescent white looks spectacular. Now coming down the side, you can see that boxy appearance. One of the things I'm kind of hung up on is the amount of gloss black at the base of the windshield. I'm gonna zonk that. Let me know how you feel about that in the comment section. You do have your squared off nice style on your side mirrors with your LED turn singles built in. And from the side of the vehicle, you can see how this is based off the same platform as the Sequoia. Really has a nice stance to it and of course presence. Up top, you have that flat roof with our gloss black roof rails. Of course, you could get your crossbars. And then you'll also notice that we have color matched door handles. And then on the bottom portion, I like the way they did the, the gray, that metallic gray. And then when you open up the doors, look at that. Automatic dropping running boards. Very, very nice touch. Now, as we continue towards the back, I think one of the biggest things I love is instead of just keeping it flat, I love the way they carried it up into the rear quarter window. It's those little touches of style that really kind of equate to the big picture, especially with the color match fender flares. And then when we swing it around back, what do we got going on? You got a nice long roof. I wish I got to zonk this freaking thing, Lori. I got to do it. The wiper should be tucked underneath here. But the good news is you will be able to open up the rear glass, which is nice. And then of course you have the Lexus name spelled out with your full LEDs that run across our GX550 badge. And then working our way down to ground level, you take this off. Let me know how you feel about this. I don't know 
Is this a button? Is this like a nipple? What is this? I'm not sure if I'm loving this lower bumper area, but this cover comes off and you can tow with your GX550. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the interior and see what big things are in store on this luxury SUV. All right, guys, we are inside this all new 2024 Lexus GX550. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I'm so glad you're doing a different trim than the Overtrail, but how much is this? No official pricing yet. I can't wait to bring it to you, but why don't we go ahead and see what this particular GX550 brings to the table to the door panels. I love the clean style, soft touch material up top, and then you'll notice that there's, there's nice perforated leather style material. Of course, you have a padded armrest and that Mark Levinson sound system. Looking good, premium sound. Door pockets on the tighter side, so maybe three churros and a bottle of Yoohoo to wash it down. Going from the door panel to the dash, I love how far forward it is. Gives the passenger a lot of room. You have a, a Twinkie tray for 13 Twinkies, Baker's Dozen, Love the silver trim. And then come on in, what do you get? You get a massive 14 inch infotainment system. I can't turn it on because we're at the auto show, but this has the Lexus multimedia system that we've shown you on the RX and the NX and the other models. Real knobs, which are nice. And then you have your AC vents. You got your charging area for your phone, USB-Cs, which are great. Mode selector switch. This is gonna control the 10 speed automatic transmission. This is gonna control your four by four with your four high, four low. You could even lock the center diff. Love the way they did the stitching. Wireless, more wireless charging. Soft material. I wish they would have gave me some stitching here. This, that's a zonk. But open it up, we actually have a cool box. So if you like to have a nice cool Twinkie on a hot day, you could put at least eight Twinkies in there. And then the seats, the leather, the stitching. Look at the design, full electric assist with the nice bolstering for the passenger and the driver. And then we have that translucent fixed roof design. So this is that kind where right now it's opaque so you can't see, you hit the button, the electrons and the atoms change, and then it goes clear. Just like we showed you on the Venza, the Toyota Venza. But why don't you come over here to the business end? I wanna show you behind the wheel of this GX550. All right guys, business time behind the wheel. You do have three memory seat settings. So if you have two other friends, that you uh, trust to drive your GX550. They could have their memory setting in their seat for themselves. Down below, I love the way you're gonna be welcomed with that nice aluminum sill plate. The Lexus name lights up LED to welcome you. You got all your seat controls. You can move the seat 20 different ways from Sunday. Love the space in here. I'm six feet tall and I feel as comfy as can be. Steering wheel, the leather all the way around. Nice quality. You do have some simulated stitching on the horn button, flat black on the switch gear, and then the paddles to go up and down the 10 speed automatic. It is a power tilting and telescoping wheel. And then you have your 12.3 digital display, which I cannot show you because we are at the auto show, but that will have all the pertinent information. The one thing I'm missing, I don't see a head up display. And to me, that's a big zonk on a Lexus luxury SUV, but let's get in the back seat and see how your passengers are gonna love it that you went GX for your new vehicle. All right guys, great news is this is a three row SUV and what's wonderful is the amount of room you have in the mid row. Now, what's fascinating is, is that you do have captain's chairs, but they still give you this small little puny armrest, which I'm gonna zonk, but I do love the leather. And then on the backs of the seats, more leather, stitching up top, large pocket, you could put three Annie Ann's pretzels with extra mustard, and then you have a nice command center here. Heated seats, but no ventilated seats. You do have your temperature controls, and you do have two USB-Cs, which are really nice. Cup holders in the center kind of separate you and the passenger next to you. Manual security shades to keep the peepers out with your rear AC. Come on in, he's gonna sit <laughs> and share some room with us. And then just like before, we're gonna get into that third row and we're gonna do it our own way. So that's how you would get in, lots of room. And then we're gonna get in this back seat. Are you ready? Ah! I'm about to die back here. So the bad news is, the good news is this is a three row. The bad news is because it's on the Sequoia chassis, I know some people are offended by it. This third row does offend me. Uh, it does, my knees are way too high. I, if I was in the back of a Tahoe right now, I wouldn't be having this. Look, what am I having for lunch? my own knees. Good news is I have some headroom and I have rear AC vents. 
USB-Cs, and I can tilt. You can't, here's a USB-C right there. I can tilt the seat a little, just a little bit. But this is really tight back here. But let's get to the cargo area so we can wrap it up before somebody sits on my lap at the auto show. All right, guys, cargo area time. X marks the spot. We hit the button. You have that nice electric assist. Comes up pretty quickly. And then this is where we're going to find our space. Now, remember, we're at the auto show, so they have to hook up inverters and stuff like that. With the third row up, you're going to be really offended because there's not a lot of room back here. Maybe you could get like a couple bags of Twizzlers. That's about it. I do like the way you have a home power source, which is nice. And then you do have power seats that fold down, which I think first I got to do this. Manually put down those headrests. Now we're going to fold down the seats. Are you ready? There they go. One, two, three, folding down. I'm actually going to fix this, Lori. There we go. Somebody decided to open this up and just throw it in the back. We're going to do the right thing and put it back the way it should go. There we go. Perfect. So you can see with that third row down, you do have plenty of room. Lori's, Lori's going to show you the USB-Cs and the cup holders back there. I would recommend probably driving this the most with the seats down because that third row is for emergency only. And what I mean by emergency is like when you get the call and you find out that, uh-oh, you have a couple extra kids, that's where you're gonna be able to put them. But finally being able to get access to the GX550 other than the Overtrail has been really nice at the LA Auto Show. You could see the excitement. People wanted to get in and literally sit on me to see what this GX is all about. But let me know in the comments section, do you think this is going to be the best new luxury SUV available? Let me know in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rides family. Of course, we need to thank Lori behind that camera, working it like a champ. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. We need to hurry up and wrap it up before somebody sits on you. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.